10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Those of you just joining us, you are watching the Falcon 9 as it descends through the atmosphere, carrying the POTH satellite to a polar sun-synchronous orbit. Right now, the rocket is approaching what we call Max-Q. This is the point at which the aerodynamic forces in the rocket are at the greatest. The Falcon 9 Eagle actually supersonic. throttles itself down as it passes through Max-Q and then throttles back up once we're through it. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. We just uh, passed through our maximum aerodynamic pressure, Max Q. That Falcon 9 okay, rocket is now throttling speed. back up to full speed as it ascends through the atmosphere. As that first stage ascends higher and higher through the atmosphere, the ambient air pressure starts going uh, further and further down, so you can see those uh, exhaust gases getting bigger and bigger on your camera screen right now. Uh, in a few, in about 20 seconds, we're going to be passing through what we call MECO, which is main engine cutoff. Uh, that's when that first stage is going to complete its burn. Shortly after that, we'll have stage separation, and then second engine start, uh, SES-1. Let's watch that happen now. Miko. You just we saw it on your condition. screen. That was a good Miko main engine cutoff, a good separation of that first stage, and then uh, what appears to be a successful second engine start one. Stand by for fairing deploy. Thanks. And you just saw it on your screen. That was a successful fairing deploy. You can see the fairing uh, falling down below the second stage on your screen right now. SpaceX will be attempting to recover this fairing uh, today. On your screen right now, you can see the Merlin Vacuum D engine nozzle. This is a radiatively cooled uh, engine nozzle, meaning that it vents the heat from those hot exhaust gases by uh, like radiating that energy. You can see it glowing red hot, uh, burning that energy away. For those of you down in Southern California, you might get a good glimpse of those exhaust gases as the uh, second stage accelerates. Uh, looked like a nice clear morning today in Los Angeles. As the second stage ascends uh, higher and higher into orbit, let's talk a little bit about exactly what orbit we're going to today. Uh, this is a low Earth orbit polar sun-synchronous orbit. Uh, low Earth orbit 
refers to the height of the orbit above the Earth, so uh, things such as the International Space Station are also in low Earth orbit, uh, but they orbit more along the equator, which is what's called a low inclination orbit. A polar orbit uh, circles vertically about the Earth with respect to its poles so that it passes over the North and the South Poles. This is the orbit we're going to today. Uh, certain types of polar orbits, like this one, a sun-synchronous orbit, keeps the orbit's plane directly in line with the sun. Uh, this allows any satellite that's in a sun-synchronous orbit to see the, all points of the Earth from exactly the same lighting conditions uh, as illuminated by the sun. This is extremely useful for imaging applications, uh, which would be the POTH spacecraft's primary intended purpose. Low Earth orbits only require a single burn, so we won't be having a coast phase or a second engine start too, like we would normally have for geosynchronous Earth orbit launches. For those of you just joining us, we did have a successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket at exactly 6.17 a.m. Pacific time from Space Launch Complex 4 in Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, shortly after that, the first stage completed its job and separated from that second stage. We're currently watching the second stage as it continues its first burn, its only burn today, uh, as, and accelerating that POTH spacecraft to a low Earth orbit. The next major event is going to be at about T plus 8 minutes and 58 seconds. That's when that second engine cutoff is going to happen, uh, also known as SECO. Right now you can see the curvature of the Earth uh, just behind that Merlin Vacuum D engine nozzle. All telemetry is still looking nominal from that second stage, getting good signal. As we burn fuel in that second stage, uh, the second stage actually gets lighter and lighter, but the engine thrust remains the same. So uh, in order to keep a constant acceleration on the second stage and its payload, we actually throttle that Merlin vacuum engine down towards the end. We're getting close towards the end of the burn right now, so that throttle down is beginning. Coming up next in about 40 seconds is going to be SECO, second engine cutoff. That second stage Merlin vacuum engine is going to shut off, having completed its primary burn. Uh, and then a minute after that, or two minutes after that, we're going to have payload separation. So stand by for SECO in about 20 or 30 seconds from now. Stage two is in terminal guidance. And the okay, is safe. Yeah, go one. And you just saw it on your screen, that was a second engine cutoff right there. Uh, the second stage has now completed its burn, and that's Merlin vacuum engine is off. Good orbit insertion. We just got confirmation of a good orbit. Uh, that means that we have reached the intended low Earth orbit point. 
Right now, the primary payload, that POTH spacecraft, is uh, still attached to the top of the second stage by way of a payload adapter fitting. Uh, it has some locks and some springs. In about 1 minute and 30 seconds from now, those locks are going to release, and the springs will give the POTH satellite a gentle push away from the top of the second stage uh, so that it can begin its own uh, journey into low Earth orbit. We are now one minute away from that payload deploy. Like we were saying earlier, um, we're going to be having a, uh, or hopefully we'll have a view from the top of the second stage looking at the POTH satellite as it deploys. You may see on the sides of the spacecraft, uh, you're going to see two extra things. Those will be the SpaceX demo satellites. Uh, we'd love to give you uh, footage of those deploying too, but unfortunately, the second stage will be passing out of ground station coverage before those satellites deploy. So we're just going to be covering that uh, primary payload POTH satellite deployment. Stand by for deployment in about 10 to 15 seconds. And there you can see it. Uh, that looks like a successful separation of the payload of the POP Space satellite. Uh, you can see those SpaceX demo satellites to the left and right of the payload adapter fitting. But the primary payload is uh, right now gliding away from that second stage. Uh, soon it will unfurl its own uh, solar panels and start communicating with the ground teams.